Welcome to the morning crew at Castle Barbell. Where the word gets put in. <laughs> I mean, you gotta be half crazy to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, right? Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed. Come on, Roman. So I got to hit four by four paws at like a RPE eight. So this is like one of my last warm ups. So I'm definitely going to long pause these and go to four reps. That way I can judge the RPE as accurately as possible because these are hard as hell. So I'm only going to make one more jump to my top sets and then I'll be working for four top sets right there. But this will be the last one where I gauge it at. So we'll see. <laughs> Pretty hard but we can go up one thing about rp if you ain't breathing hard or stuff like that it ain't it ain't seven eight or nine you know what i mean it might be a seven that was probably a seven i gotta be at like an eight we're gonna go up seven and a half keys you know one thing about power lifting it's you versus you if you ain't getting stronger your intensity ain't where it needs to be at you ain't putting in the work that's why I like powerlifting. It's me versus me. I can go on the internet and look at my numbers and see if they're going up or if they're going down. But they're gonna go up because I ain't gonna stop. I can't let all these youngsters be stronger than me in my own damn gym. I gotta keep going, baby, keep going. And I'm gonna get my, my nice friend over here who counts to about three seconds but it feels like 10 because underweight you're likely to cut those pauses short so it's good to holler at your friend let them count for you come on Jess, let's go up good come on Excellent. Just like that. Keep it up. 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 It's pretty close to RPE. Uh, it's good to have honest friends around you. Tell you when you're sandbagging or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what increases your performance? Not resting 20 minutes between a set. You ain't putting in work if you rest in 20 minutes with, between sets, man. And I stand on that. One, two, three, up. Is that four? That's three. Come on. Huh? That's three. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. I don't know if that was four reps or three. I thought that was five. Okay. Yeah, I failed the last one. Well, not failed. It was hard. It was supposed to be four. Yeah, because on the fourth one, you last one more. Huh? You're fired. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, get your friends that can count. <laughs> That's staying in the video. Yep, come on. Up. 
Perfect. Come on. Up. Control it. Up. Up. Hell yeah. I could have did six at, with those pauses. I could have did six with those pauses. That's why I started jumping on, on three. I was like, man, that's long. That's long. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm about to show this fool. You don't want me counting. <laughs> Another thing, guys. You want to practice how you're going to play on meet day. Whatever shoes you plan to bench in, you need to ben bench in them. I don't mind benching in Jordan 1s. I like them. They're flat-footed. I don't move. They're sticky. So I like those. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to bench in those. I deadlift in some one hun uh, slippers. And then uh, I squat in the same thing. So, But I can also squat in Jordan 1s. But you don't want to be in here on bench in some Crocs, bro without your wrist wraps, with no belt, if that's how you bench. However you bench in meat day is how you need to fucking practice, period. I don't give a damn. You gotta, you gotta practice how you play, man. Cause you don't want no variable changes. You don't wanna change no variable on meat day. You want it to be a habit. That's why you're doing reps. More reps, the better. You're trying to get better at that exact motion that you're going to be doing on meet day. Practice how you play, man. Hey, I'm about to let y'all know on a secret. You wanna get real strong? This is like the secret everybody's been waiting for. Do the fucking work. <laughs>